What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a freelance artist journey. With the success of my previous video, Beware of These Types of Commissions, I wanted to expound and expand a little bit more on the subject matter uh, because, uh, yeah, it seemed really successful. I got a lot of views and, and a lot of uh, comments regarding the topic and there's there's plenty of material to continue this so maybe we'll make a little bit of a series out of it I don't know but uh, yeah anything that I can do to help out and uh, have others benefit from my experience I want to do that so let's get into another few examples that I've found as I uh, take on and weed through different uh, commission requests. Um, here's one here and you know I went through and tried to edit out any information that may lead to uh, a potential client's personal information because you know I'm not trying to put anybody out there and put their business on blast, so to speak, you know, this is more of an educational type of thing, but it's not meant to uh, point a finger at any client or anyone individually. Uh, so, you know, I try to edit through these and just get the meat in the context of what's being said. So this one is from Craigslist and the title, as you can see, says, uh, contract graphic designer slash illustrator upper east side coming down to the meat of the text project we are publishing a textbook on the art of Jin Shin and I don't know if I'm I'm probably butchering that uh, this is the second textbook in a two textbook series we're looking for a graphic designer slash illustrator to create illustrations that demonstrate energy flow patterns in the body as well as various charts and graphs for the textbook qualifications and experience graphic design slash illustrator experience please link to previous work ability to work e efficiently and quickly self-motivated organized and detail oriented ability to meet tight deadlines benefits tangible industry experience name published in our textbook letter of recommendation for future employers work remotely and flexible hours uh, if interested please email and then there's the person the contact person's email information uh, with a statement of interest a copy of your resume and any links to previous work no pay now this particular job is kind of an internship situation and now if that's something that you're considering or that would work for you then by all means you go for it but to me it sounds like a lot of work for no pay and it doesn't seem like you would be part of a creative team now if you were part of a graphic design department and they're bringing you on in addition to having a art director in place or a senior designer, then that would be OK. You know, I could see doing that. But if you're the only person doing all the work, that's quite a bit to ask an intern to take on a full textbook. You know, and when I hear the word textbook, I'm thinking a couple hundred pages at least that's a lot of work for no pay um, and the benefits aren't quite enough in my opinion now again if you're a student and you want the experience you need the experience and 
you have the time, then I wouldn't say don't do it. But I, even as a student, I feel like there's plenty of jobs out there that you can get experience and get paid at the same time. Moving on to the next one. Okay, here's one. Illustrator. Looking for an, an illustrator for a children's book. It is 32 or 34 images to draw. I will share profits after the book is sold all over the world. The main characters are mushrooms. The family of mushrooms. Dad, mom, son, and daughter. The illustrator needs to create humans out of the mushrooms. So, we have here another situation where this person has not mentioned money at all, but kind of more like a partnership. So, they write the story, you do the illustrations, and once the books are sold, you'll get uh, profits from it as well as them. So maybe it's a 50-50 split. They don't mention it here. There's no money mentioned here. And we're talking 32 to 34 images. That's quite a bit. You know, are we talking 32 to 34 spot illustrations or are we talking full illustrations in other words with a background a full scene that would bleed all the way to the edge of the page and take up the whole page you know that's something that you need to iron out with uh, the client you know for no pay this is a lot of work and you know on top of that we're talking uh, a percentage of the profits you know, are you going to be relying upon this individual to keep track of everything and give you honest feedback of what's been sold? You know, how would you know? Right. You can't you're not going to be able to look over their shoulder and see every single book that's sold. You know, maybe there's a way to do that. I don't know. But. That's a lot of trust to put into a stranger's hands and then hope on the back end that they're reporting all of the sales to you and being honest and upfront about that. Again, that's one that I would not touch. Now, there have been some situations where a client has asked me to um, do some work and to pay me a portion of money up front, you know, as a deposit, and then some more money on the back end once it's completed, a lesser amount, but then they want to throw in a percentage of sales afterwards, you know, to kind of sweeten the pot. And you kind of have to weigh the situation and see if the person is trustworthy because, again, you don't know what sales are going to look like if there are even going to be any sales and if so are they being tallied up um correctly and are you getting are you going to get what they say that you know they're going to offer you how would you know what the profits should be and you know there's, there's a lot of moving parts there that you that are not within your control you want to make things as simple and straightforward as possible. Um, that may be a situation where you might want to uh, consider it. You know, if you're getting enough money up front to at least cover your basic needs and expenses and pay a few bills, and then on the back end, if they come through, then, you know, all the rest is gravy. And that's cool. I'm going to go ahead and end there, and we can pick it up next time. Thanks again for tuning in. Please do me a favor and hit that little subscribe button and that little bell so you can be notified when the next video drops.